Hey there guys, what's going on here? It is your boy John from JTB. Review here, finally got it right this time. <laughs> but I uh, just want to come to you guys. We're going to review Cannibal Corpse's record, Gallery of Suicide. And this one's crazy. So it came out April 21st, 1998, Morrison Studios. Um, pro not produced by Scott Burns, but by Jim Morris. So we, we done got away from Scott Burns, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, kind of different. Um, this is also, um, we also have Pat O'Brien on lead guitar, uh, George Corpse Grinder Fisher on vocals, Jack Owen on rhythm guitar, Alex Webster on bass, and Paul Mazurkowitz. So, yeah, kind of the same old, same old, but no Scott Burns. Different vocalist, you know, second record in, different vocalist. So, you know, we're, we're making some changes here. And uh, we're starting that off with Gallery of Suicide, man. Gallery of Suicide is, is something else, man. Something else. So, the cons here, you know, we got we got to talk about this one. So, it's it's different, man. Like, you know, we, we got a new vocal style, you know, Corpse Grinder. You know, it's, it's not Barnes. And it, it's different, but it's still not bad. I, I wouldn't say it, it's bad, but... I, I love George Corpse Grinder and I think he's really cool, but it's just different. It's different hearing him, you know, comparing him to Barnes. It's just different. Not bad different, but just different. Um has a different has it has a different like style this record. Um definitely like not as many hooks and stuff, like not as many like hooks and chops and stuff like that. Um, I think the production is better. I think the production's pretty good on Gallery of Suicide. I'm I'm digging it. Um, and you know stuff like that. But um, I definitely think there's a lot more solos in this record. There's definitely a lot more solos. There's a lot more like guitar wise. There's a lot more into this. Um, and uh, not only that, but. It's it's somewhat like easier to listen to. Like a, it's a death metal record that's like somewhat easy to listen to. Like if you're trying to get a beginner, like someone who's like never listened to death metal, this is like an easy one to get into. Like if you've never experienced death metal. It's like a gateway record somewhat. Kind of like somewhere in that realm. It's like a, a you know, a gateway record. So but anyways, we're uh the highlight of this record though is I'm going to say it's not not the drums, not the bass. It's definitely the guitar on this one because of the solos. And um, I don't think there's as, like, as many hooks per se, but I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. I may be, I may be like, goofing off with that. But I don't know. I felt like there just wasn't as, as, as much, like, grooviness as I like. But overall, it's not bad. So my top three... Top three is I Will Kill You to start the record off with. That's awesome. Gallery of Suicide, the title track. Headless, Every Bone Broken, Centuries of Torment, and Unite the Dead. Unite the Dead, man. I think all of those are really great tracks. I mean, the whole record's really good in itself. But if I had to give it a rating, man, I would give it like... I'd give it like an 8.5 out of 10. I think the album art is really cool. I just kind of think it has a different overall vibe, and it's a really cool beginner's guy or a beginner gateway album to death metal. It's kind of one of those records. Um, I'm not saying it's PG or nothing, but it's definitely it's definitely a little bit more easier to listen to than like let's say like um, Eating Back to Life, you know, or stuff like that, or The Bleeding. You know, the production's better. It's a little bit more clean. It's a little bit more polished than others. Um, you know, and the, the uh, album art isn't as crazy or as brutal, and the uh, title tracks aren't like I Come Blood. It's like the dead, uh, yeah, what was it? Um, Unite the Dead. You know, it's like it's not like the titles aren't, aren't as like brutal. It's, this isn't at, like a brutal album. I mean, it's still brutal, but not as brutal. So, anyways, what did you guys think about. Um, What'd you guys think about this record, man? I uh, I don't mind it. I like it. But you're going to have those fans that are pro Barnes only. Any, they won't listen to anything but pre-Vile. Then you have the people that can listen to both. I'm the person that can listen to both. What kind of fan are you? Let me know down below. And I will see you guys later. Have a good one. See ya.